first big step into producing our own food. This was when we lived in a different house down the road, much smaller garden, and we were trying to grow a bit of fruit and veg, but literally what was just in the flower borders either side of the lawn. And I said to my husband, wouldn't chickens be fabulous? And he said, no. <laughs> Um, and we sort of talked about it and then what happened he'd seen the chicken coop that I fancied at a design exhibition because actually it would be quite cool to have chickens it's a quite an unusual pet and so we had our first two chickens then um, and it just was amazing that connection with where our food comes from that you know your pet can give you food without the animal having to die for your dinner and um, you know the, the cat and the dog were give you something out of their bodies that you can eat. It was all a bit surreal, but really helping us understand where our food comes from. It was great for the kids, it was great for me, great fun. Um, so when we moved to this house on the corner and we got some extra chickens, the plan was never to have three coops with 21 chickens. It's a little bit of an addictive hobby. Um, but it's great because now I've got spare eggs for sale. I can sell them to friends and neighbours um, and lots that I can use in my baking. And where the bees come into it was, well, in this house that we're living in now, um, we developed the kitchen garden so we've got more space to grow fruits and vegetables. We've got the chickens and then I just wanted to see what else we could do in our London back garden to help us to produce food. Um, and for me, the next thing was bees because not only would we get the lovely honey, but they'd also be key in pollinating the other crops that we were trying to grow. So it's all about food production to utilise the space that we've got to, to grow food sustainably. So for us, having the chickens, having the bees, um, all fit in with um, growing fruit on the trees and vegetables out of the ground uh, to see how much food we can gather from our back garden. Well, I grew up in East London, um, now living in West London, and I think, you know, for me, being in London is great, I love living in London. But my childhood always had every opportunity to get out to the country. So be that a Sunday afternoon walk or um, a holiday. My parents were both school teachers, so we got quite good long holidays together. Um, sometimes we went youth hosteling, and sometimes we went to visit family in the Welsh Valleys. Um, we went on holiday on a boat, um, sailing to other countries. So very much sort of an outdoor life. As long, uh, alongside living right here in the, the capital city of, the, of our country. Um, so whilst I've enjoyed living in London and enjoying the countryside, um, what's really inspired me here for Hen Corner is how you can have the best of both worlds. A lot of people think that um, living in the, they have to live in the city because of their job, um, but living in the city, there, there's lots of challenges, there's housing challenges, transport challenges, there's a lot of people living here but there's lots of life and lots of fun and lots of vibrancy living in the city. Um, so rather than packing up and moving out to the country where um, our nearest neighbour might be five, ten miles away and we, we, if, we want to, if we run out of milk we've got to get the car out of the garage, um, let's see if we can live the best of both worlds and that's really what we're trying to do here, weaving um, a little bit of country life into busy urban city lives. I've always loved food and I've always enjoyed baking and trying new recipes. And I started baking our bread for our family, oh my goodness, quite a while ago, quite a while ago, probably about 15, 16 years ago. And then I discovered this organisation called Bread Angels. So I trained as a bread angel five or six years ago and, um, and accidentally opened a bakery. Now I had no intention to do that and you might think how can you accidentally open a bakery? But a friend and I who had done the bread angel training together we said no we don't we don't want to open a bakery. I know they've just trained us how to do it but we don't want to do that. But what we will do is once a month we'll just have a day baking together and we'll learn some new recipes and I'll have some of your bread and you have some of my bread and if you've got anything spare we can put it on Facebook. And the very first day that we decided to do this we created a little Facebook event and we said Sarah and Katie have just trained as bread angels and if you want to buy this, 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 we're selling this as well as eggs from the chickens and honey from the bees and some chutney that we made. Just swing by between five and seven um, if you're interested in buying anything. 36 people turned up, spent £300 and said, 
what do you mean once a month we want this every week uh, okay then and we've done it every week since the very first course that we ever run was urban hens keeping chickens in London and that came about because Omelette, the company who make the chicken coops we use, um, they said look Farwa, lots of people are buying chickens and coops and they don't know what to do with them and can you show people how easy it is to keep chickens in London? I said what do you mean? They said bake a cake, invite people round, let them hug a hen, show them how to muck the chickens out, answer questions over tea and cake. I thought I can do that living things yeah. there's a time to be born and there's a time to die and um, we've been keeping chickens for 15 years so oh, chickens only live for about five or six years and um, most of the chickens um, have long happy lives um, we obviously have urban foxes here and um, foxes prowl around in the daytime and then the bees absolutely there um, there's a constant cycle bees honeybees only live for um, about six weeks in the summer. So the queen bee is laying eggs every day. In the summer she can be laying up to 2,000 eggs a day. So there's constantly new bees emerging and old bees dying. Um, so there's a constant circle of, of new life. But to make way for that new life, then um, there'll always be those that are dying. And really, with all the skills we want to pass on, it's not saying, we're perfect, look, we're professional, look what we've done. The whole ethos of Hen Corner is to say, hey, we've done this, you can do it too. You can do it too.